Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala created us and placed us in this life as a test. He subhanahu wa ta'ala put you in the circumstance that he put you in. Not of your own choosing. Not to do injustice to you. But rather to test you. Each and every single one of us is in this life as a test. Don't object to the decree of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Why did Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala put me in this test? Why has Allah tested me with this, but He has tested others with something else? Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala placed us, each and every single one of us, in a circumstance that was due to His wisdom. That was due to His justice. And so now is not the time to be complaining. Now is not the time to be objecting to what Allah has decreed. But rather accepting it and moving forward. And so Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala wanted to test each and every single one of us. To see who among his servants will be conscious of him subhanahu wa ta'ala at every moment of their lives. While who on the other hand will be heedless will be negligent, heedless of the commandments of Allah, of the prohibitions of Allah, heedless of Allah watching us, heedless of the punishment of Allah that comes in the Akhirah. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala wanted to test us, to see who among us will work hard, will strive, will struggle to change their bad habits, to fight against their nafs. And who on the other hand, will be lazy, will give in to their nafs, will try to strive for some time, but then give up. This, my dear brothers and sisters, is the test of this life. Not for one or two people, not for a segment of society, not for some people, but rather for each and every single one of us. And it is these two camps that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala told us when He subhanahu wa ta'ala said, فَأَمَّا مَنْ طَغَى وَآثَرَ الْحَيَاةَ الدُّنْيَا فَإِنَّ الْجَحِيمَ هِيَ الْمَأْوَى As for he who transgresses, he sins and sins and doesn't care, transgressing the bounds of Allah. وَآثَرَ الْحَيَاةَ الدُّنْيَا And prefers the life of this world, the dunya. Prefers to give in to the weakness of his nafs. Prefers the temporary life of the dunya. فَإِنَّ الْجَحِيمَ هِيَ الْمَأْوَى His abode is nothing but the hellfire. On the other hand, وَأَمَّا مَنْ خَافَ مَقَامَ رَبِّهِ وَنَهَا النَّفْسَ عَنِ الْهَوَى فَإِنَّ الْجَنَّةَ هِيَ الْمَأْوَى As for he who fears standing before his Lord subhanahu wa ta'ala and does what? And prevents his nafs from following its desires. For him his abode is nothing but jannah. 